Hey everyone, this is Peter from VFE Pedals. In this video, I will go in depth about our variable HCC technology, uh, which is built into many of our drive pedals. But before I do, I should lay some groundwork about how distortion is created. Since an actual guitar signal is really complex, we'll just use a simple audio wave to illustrate a note that is struck and that gets quieter as it rings out. And if this signal is amplified beyond the clean threshold of this circuit, the signal begins to compress and distort, and the louder part of the signal will distort the most, but the quietest parts of the signal remain unaffected. If you've ever wondered why drive circuits add more distortion when you hit the strings really hard, this is why. This is also why drive pedals add sustain, because this compression helps the overall volume stay more even as the note decays. For the rest of this video, we'll go over what HCC is, how it works, and what it sounds like. HCC stands for Harmonics, Compression, and Clipping Character. We use some custom tapered controls to make it possible for you, the player, to fine tune these three core aspects of the tone with just the turn of a single knob. Different types of components can affect the character of the drive tone. The most popular type of clipping component is a silicone diode, which typically has more bite and brightness to its distortion when compared to like a germanium diode, which is usually warmer, smoother, and has more saturation that results actually in less overall boost available. Another type of diode is an LED, which by comparison results in a louder, fuller, more dynamic drive tone. Each type of diode has a threshold point that's gotta be reached before the distortion engine will kick in and add compression and sustain. LEDs have a very high threshold, and therefore the least amount of compression where by comparison, germanium diodes have a very low threshold and can add quite a bit of compression. You can actually combine diodes of different types or different quantities. And by doing so, you can set the compression threshold to be either symmetrical, uh, which means both sides of the signal clip the same amount, or the compression can be asymmetrical, which means one side of the signal is actually compressing harder than the other side. When you make the clipping more asymmetrical, you emphasize more even harmonics, which yields a brighter tone that can help lower gain settings really pop and stand out in a mix. And symmetrical clipping is sometimes preferred at higher gain settings because it has a smoother overall drive characteristic. There are basically two types of HCC in our products. Some pedals like the Dark Horse Distortion and Merman Overdrive, they just have a compression control. Most of our drive pedals actually have a control or sometimes two that not only affects compression, but also lets you select for multiple different clipping arrangements. Since the clipping arrangements are different on all the pedals, we'll focus on the one task that HCC does the same on every pedal, and that's that HCC lets you fine tune the amount of compression in that drive circuit. And to explain how it does this, let's go back to that audio signal again. When you set any HCC control to get the most amount of compression, which means fully clockwise or fully counterclockwise. It clamps down hard on anything passing that threshold point. But if you reduce the amount of compression, that part of the signal doesn't squish as much, which results in greater dynamics and transparency and more of a natural tone. When compression is at the minimum, there is little to no signal coloration from the HEC distortion engine. It's kind of like a clean boost. Here's an analogy for you studio guys. HCC works much like a compression ratio knob. HCC does not affect the threshold point where distortion begins, but rather how hard that distortion compresses and clamps down on the signal that goes beyond the threshold point. So let's hear what this sounds like. To demonstrate this, we'll use the Scream Overdrive, the Alpha Dog Distortion, and the Fiery Red Horse Fuzz. And because the type and amount of compression will affect your overall volume level, we've adjusted the volume to balance out the signal so you can better hear the tonal impact of HCC. The knob marked SLA on the screen uses HCC to transition between symmetrical, LED, and asymmetrical clipping.
The Alpha Dog actually has two distortion engines, one that yields a harder edge to the clipping and one that yields a softer edge. Hard clipping configurations are common in distortion pedals, while soft clipping configurations are very common in overdrive pedals. But because these sections are independent, you can essentially stack them to add extra saturation and sustain. The hard knob goes from dynamic silicon clipping up to no clipping, basically a clean boost, and then over to a compressed saturated silicon clipping setup. The soft knob goes from a one-sided, uber asymmetrical germanium diode to no diodes at 12 o'clock. And at clockwise, it uses a single MOSFET transistor for a dynamic and smoother type of asymmetrical clipping. The Fiery Red Horse uses germanium diodes when counterclockwise and silicon diodes when clockwise. And at noon, there are no diodes, which makes for this huge sounding fuzz distortion that relies on the saturation of the transistors themselves. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this in-depth video and learn more about our HCC technology. Leave us your comments and questions below. And if you have any questions about anything pedal related, go ahead and ask them and maybe we'll make a video about it. And make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming soon.